An international team of astronomers' discovery of two planets they think could potentially be habitable. It's part of a week's worth of space news that we're going to try to pack into three minutes now with National Geographic astronomy columnist Andrew Fizekas, who joins us from Montreal this morning. Andrew, welcome. Tell us more about these planets. Well, these are part of the Tau Ceti star system. This is a star that is very similar to the, our sun in brightness and size. And astronomers have found four planets, two of which lie in what's called the habitable zone, where we think liquid water could exist. It's not too hot, not too cold. And they're slightly larger than the Earth. They, so we think they're, they're um, Earth-like, a little bit larger, but has a rocky surface. So this is very exciting because this star system with these planets are only 12 light years away, which is very close, close enough for our next generation of telescopes possibly to actually take real images of uh, snap photos of these worlds. Pretty fascinating stuff. And, you know, for folks who are earthbound and can't get out, even if it's in terms of a telescope, there's an opportunity to gaze into space and the wonders of space, particularly with the Perseid meteor shower again tonight. And, Andrew, I see that you've uh, staked out a place already out there in the great outdoors <laughs> so that you'll be able to see them better. Uh, tell us more about them. That's right. So the Perseid meteor shower comes around every year. It's sort of like the cosmic old, old faithful of, of celestial shows. And uh, it, it, it's peaking this weekend. So Saturday last night was the first night. And now you have a second chance, Act 2, of this great celestial show, uh, watching meteors fly. You can expect anywhere from 20 to 40 shooting stars per hour from a dark site. If you're stuck within the city, it's probably closer to the lower levels of 20. Make sure you tr close off all your lights around you and you can enjoy the show with nothing more than just your unaided eye. No binoculars or telescopes needed. Well, there's no better time than now, and particularly tonight, to wish you a clear skies. National Geographic astronomy columnist Edward Fizek, it's always a pleasure. Thank you, and clear skies to you too. Thank you, Andrew.